All right, this is called the tub challenge. It's the take home part of our electrical training seminar. If you look at a modern day bathtub, what's it made out of? Fiberglass, conductor or insulator? Insulator. What's the drain line made out of? PVC piping, conductor or insulator? Again, insulator. So this bucket of water in a plastic container here now represents a modern day bathtub. So here's a scenario. I am come home from work, I got an 11-year-old grandson that comes in from school, and he's all excited and wants to tell me about his day at school. And on the sink, he sees a hair dryer. Now, to an 11-year-old, what does that look like? Space gun. So he's going to come shoot Papaw, who's sitting in the tub, relaxing. A hair dryer today comes with a GFCI on the end of the cord, and in your bathrooms, it's plugged into a GFCI. So let's look at what's going to happen here. I'm going to put my safety glasses on, and I'm going to put my rubber gloves on just to be safe. So my grandson turns on the hair dryer, and he comes running over to me and trips and drops it into the tub. I got two GFIs on this thing. How many think it's going to keep on running? I may think it'll stop. All right, let's see what happens here. So as he trips, it goes in, and now my hair dryer becomes an underground pump, underwater pump. I'm sitting in this tub, and there's all kinds of circulating currents flowing through the water in parallel with me and the hair dryer. How much is actually flowing through my body of is dependent upon the conductivity of the water, the construction of the hair dryer, a lot of factors. So, watch what happens when I take the ground rod. I can put it anywhere in this water, and as soon as I establish a ground, the current's going to flow through this ground rod back to the GFI, and it should trip. Now, at this point, the power's taken off. So here's the challenge to you. How do we make a bathtub safe? The code requires GFCIs be installed in all bathrooms. As you can see, they're practically useless when it comes to protecting people in tubs. So go home, do some research, and come up with a cost-effective solution, and who knows, maybe someday you'll become a millionaire. <laughs>